Being a woman can cost you, apparently an average of $1,400 a year thanks to gender price discrimination. If you're a woman, just about everything costs you more than similar products marketed for men. It's called the pink tax. I needed to investigate by testing some products, but I wasn't gonna fall victim to price discrimination by actually paying for them. Two razors, one blue, one pink, otherwise identical. Does the pink one give a silkier shave? Only one way to find out. What? I'm a full-time working mom. What do you expect? They're exactly the same. Could this be an isolated case? I continued my investigation. We need a patriarchy cleanup in aisle 13. Two painkillers, one marketed for lady cramps. Question is, which is more effective? <laughs> Just as I thought, same active ingredient. This is bullshit. Why do products cost more for women than men? Well, classic marketing strategy is what they call shrink it and pink it. Oh yeah, I had that surgery. That's not what we're talking about. In this case, what we're saying is, well, the company will take the basic version they made for everyone and then market that towards women. They'll make it smaller, they'll make it pink. Yeah, same, same thing. Basic economics 101, it goes right to their bottom line. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole point of the surgery. Went to my bottom line. But there's one lawmaker, Congresswoman Jackie Speer, who's been fighting gender discrimination for over 20 years. Get rid of the gender tax. Women on the average pay $5 more for a haircut than does a man. They should be paying you to get those haircuts, but that's not the point. The pink tax is a insidious institution in America. And mind you, women are still making 80 cents for every dollar earned by a man to do the same job. And if you're a woman of color, you're making even less money. I ran the numbers and overcharged plus underpaid equals the square root of what the f ah! So unfair. It's like when someone has blue eyes, everyone falls in love with them. But you get pink eye once and suddenly you're kicked out of your neighbor's hot tub. It's three o'clock in the morning. What are they gonna use it for? Women aren't just getting discriminated against with goods, but with services as well. Haircuts, tailoring, dry cleaning. Research has shown women pay more than men 42% of the time. In fact, a recent study shows it starts from the time you were born until the day you die. As displayed in some of these products we have with us today, in a game we call... Sorry, no $34. To $44. Oh, great. So while your little girl is learning how to walk, she'll also learn how to navigate the system that's exploiting her. Sorry. These are two children's snorkels. $8.84. 1622 for the pink. So women literally have to pay more to breathe. Sorry. 28 women's diapers for 15.98. But the men get 32 diapers for the same amount of money. This is why I stopped pooping. And just like me, this system is full of shit. How can women afford to live in this world? If the man's version is cheaper, then just buy that one. Yeah, sure, if you think about it, it's just one extra step in a series of extra steps that women take every day to thrive in a man's world. Like how we get up a little extra early every morning to put on an outfit that looks professional yet accessible, but not too accessible because we don't want to be taken advantage of. Or how we walk an extra five blocks to work so that we can avoid the construction zone because men like to tell us to smile more. And then when we get to work, we want to make our voices heard, but in a way that's helpful and strong without being overbearing or shrill. You know, we do all of this without even an ounce of resentment because resentment causes wrinkles and society does not value aging women. Is there a men's wrinkle cream that you can recommend? Yes, there are several. I'm sure it costs less? Maybe a little. There's gotta be a better solution. I'm introducing the Pink Tax Repeal Act. We have got to get the federal government to protect women from this gross discrimination. That's right, Spear is ready to give the pink tax some blue balls, but why stop there? I think there has to be an outrage. Women should say, why is this more? This is discrimination. I'm gonna call corporate. Got it. Be outraged, make our voices heard, 
take it into our own hands. Until the Repeal the Pink Tax Act gets passed, I'm gonna make up for all the shit we've already paid for with the help of my little pink friend. Perfect. Giving women their money back one item at a time. We'll call it Desi's Dick Tax. Strong enough for a man, but priced just for her. <laughs>